the batch processor. When recording large datasets, deconvolving each individual image can be very time consuming. Huygens offers a batch processor that automatically deconvolves datasets based on a template. The batch processor can be reached in two ways, through the menu bar and through the deconvolution menu. The batch processor consists of several panes. At the top the save location is specified and can be changed. The bottom window explains the essential functions. Below this are buttons for the progress and report panes. The main window will show queued and finished tasks. At the top, the menu can be used to change the save format, the CPU threads per task, and the amount of concurrent tasks. To start a task, go to the green button below the main window. Images can either be selected individually, or entire folders can be selected. After the images are loaded, they are displayed. An orange color indicates that the image is part of an image seri. These files can be hidden from view with the filter button. Additional images can also be loaded from different folders. And individual images can be deleted. To proceed, click the green button. Next, a microscopic template needs to be selected. Only templates created for the same recording microscope should be used. Huygens also offers the option to deconvolve images using the image metadata. Next, a deconvolution template has to be selected. In this template specific settings like the maximum iterations and signal to noise ratio are stored. After the templates are selected, the tasks are ready to be run. Note that for each task, all template settings can still be changed. Tasks can also be deactivated by double clicking. When tasks are selected, they can be deleted, or they can be duplicated, for example, to try out different deconvolution settings. Finally, the tasks can be started by clicking the green button. If the deconvolution has to be stopped early, you can click the red button. After the batch processor has finished, the resulting images are automatically stored in the specified folder. In case a certain image has to be redone you can do so now. Thank you for watching. If there are any questions remaining please contact Scientific Volume Imaging.